Okay, my name is Matt Robinson, and I'm going to take a few minutes here to discuss building relationships as it pertains to adult education. Um, I think one of the most important things about being able to build a relationship in adult education is having that level of trust between instructor and, and, and adult student. It's you're both purpose driven. The learner is wants to reach a goal and you, the instructor need to have that, you know, give them that confidence in you that you're competent in your field and that you can help them to get to where they want to be. Some of the best practices for this, uh, getting to know individuals so that you can personalize their learning experience. You may have self-directed learners in the class that want you to act more as a facilitator or, or a guide. And then you have different learning styles that maybe they want something more pragmatic, uh, more step-by-step. -step. So it's all about customizing their experience. Um, you know, when it comes to learning the interests and the needs of those students, yeah. I think it's all about communication, maintaining an open dialogue, a back and forth. Encourage them to open up to you. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is just continue to ask questions, kind of come from a place of curiosity, and and you'll really be able to get to know a lot about a person by just continuing to ask, you know, in a casual, friendly way, just coming from that place of curiosity. It's, it works. Um, Addressing student viewpoints that differ from your own is, I think, especially in an adult setting, um, debate should be encouraged. Uh, people have come from all different backgrounds. They have different life experiences and therefore they have different perspectives on things. I think when it comes to debating things, you should encourage it from an instructor point of view, you should encourage it in a scholarly sense maintaining civility and encourage people to back up their viewpoints by citing sources, cite scholarly sources to, to back up your viewpoint. And I think you can go as far as you want with it. Um, last semester, I was actually in a history class and we were discussing um, Frederick Jackson Turner's frontier thesis. And we went back and explored a lot of the debate between those older historians that were more prescribed into that, essentially that Hollywood-esque portrayal of the Old West and the frontiersmen and, you know, cowboys and Indians essentially type history, whereas there were more historians saying, whoa, 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 that's a, a one-sided view of that topic. You're not taking into account all the indigenous tribes that would have, would have already been here and have their own unique history and their own perspectives, as well as just the, the history of the environment and the region, environmental impacts and stuff like that. So I think there's there can be perspectives. You know, it's important to include a holistic view and not just a one-sided view of things like that. Um, and then when it comes to implementing or incorporating that Christian worldview, um, I think it's something that holds a lot of people together, you know, um, today's classroom is today's society. In fact, I mean, the business world everywhere is made up of people from all different backgrounds, all different races, genders, everything like that. And, you know, we're all come from the same creator and especially as a, as a history, I, these, you can see these, these racial segregation or classist structures anything like that, those are all constructed by man, by humans and, you know, based on something superficial, essentially. And I think when you find out that you can sit down and have a conversation with somebody, um, regardless of if they look anything like you or not, you'll probably find out you have a hell of a lot more in common with them than uh, you may have thought. Um, and then maybe, you know, regardless of what you look. So uh, I think, you know, we're all creating the image of God. So that should show itself out that way.